Washington. Looks like it's going to be another beautiful day here on campus. On to the 809 news. A Chinese restaurant today was invaded by Turkish immigrants. Luckily, fire guards showed up on scene and sprayed all of them with water. <laughs> Luckily, fire guards showed up on scene and sprayed all of them with water. However, while all the criminals did get away, a local homeless man now is suing the fire department after he soaked his 18-year-old clothes in the crossfire. What a shame. In other news, a Colombian drummer will now face life sentence to jail after hanging his clothes up the wrong way. That's right, it is forbidden in Colombia to hang your clothes up with a hook pointing out. Let's just hope he hangs his prison suit up right in his cell. <laughs> Uh, in other news, the NBA finally ended its lockout, but let's be serious, who really cares? A local banana named Stewie has recently won a best taste contest and will now be awarded with more flavor. Hmm. In related news, a gorilla has escaped the zoo. Hmm. All I can say to you, Stewie... If you're listening, watch out for that gorilla. I'm sure he's hungry.
Mr.
please. Why are you doing this? We interrupt this broadcast to bring you some breaking news. About a half hour ago, Stewie Bonanno was brutally assaulted and murdered. A wild gorilla hunted down and cornered Stewie and beat him to pieces. These pictures will not be released to the press due to the severity of the gruesome content. The gorilla was later seen entering a lecture hall carrying a piece of the banana as a token trophy of his kill. Fortunately for police authorities, this foul beast was last seen heading back to the dark abyss of rotten sewage that these beasts call home, West Lafayette. We have first-hand video footage linked on our radio's website. It is suggested that these locals stay inside their homes, locked away from this monster. God have mercy on his poor, pathetic soul. That sick son of a bitch.